if you are planning to master data science or if you are right now in the middle of your data science learning journey one of the questions that you would have is how many hours per week should i dedicate to data science hi everyone my name is manav and in this video i'll help you understand your weekly learning plan for data science so that you are able to become a successful data scientist So let's start with what your weekly schedule would look like look like now there are two assumptions here that i would make for making this video that you are in a full time job because if you are a student or if you don't if you are not in a full time job you can virtually dedicate 24 7 to doing this let's say that you are in a full time job and let's say that your full time uh, uh, job keeps you sufficiently busy for 8 to 9 hours per day because there are jobs in which you can work from home or do other thing but you have to go to office i'm assuming that yeah so these are two assumptions now given these assumption your study plan should be like this on the weekends let's say that you are attending a data science program let's say that you are attending insets data gcd program or gcdi program and you are do, attending classes for two and a half hours on saturday two and a half hours on sunday which is a good enough time and you are doing that in the morning so you would not have other weekly commitment beyond those two and a half hours or two hours on saturday sunday what i would recommend you to do is to dedicate another one to one and a half hour either immediately after the class if you think that first half is where you can dedicate but after the class usually it becomes a little tiring to directly get on to studies so if you have time towards the afternoon let's say you take out another one to uh, hours whatever you have done during the classes try to go through that assignment try go to go through the through the material all over again so that you are able to see when that do that on the weekends now on the weekdays even if you are dedicating 1 to 1 and a half hour per day that's more than enough do not go overboard and try to learn for 3 to 4 hours per day because that's not sustainable your strategy in this should be you are not doing it for a week or two weeks you need to do it over a sustained period of months and possibly for an entire year and for that the important thing is being having a sustainable plan so 1 to 1 and a half hour per day is fantastic you can do it let's say in the evening nights 9 to 10:30 10 to 11:30 the good part about this learning however as compared to uh, studying for your college uh, exams is that this is not an exam this is learning so you'll have fun you'll move at your own pace so nobody is pushing you to learn everything because you have an exam coming up tomorrow so you will enjoy that process more the second part you need to look at is the distribution of how what you're doing during that one and a half hour i would want that at least on three to four days you are getting your hands dirty in coding the more you code the more confident you will become especially in the first part after that you should spend 30 to 40 percent of the time in coding 30 to 40 percent of the time in maths statistics linear algebra because that is also very important you should make that transition after first month once you are comfortable with coding and the rest 20 to 30 percent you should focus on learning about the applications of data science now the good part about learning about the applications of data science is that you actually don't need to sit and dedicate one and a half hour every day in the evening you can do it in the day also in your office while commuting you have you can refer to website our website play great blogs that i've shared talked about in another episode you can also download cora app on your mobile and start going through data science answers they will start preparing you for data science role in a much better way so one to one and a half hour of effort is highly highly recommended over a sustained period of time to master data analysis it will take you 3 to 5 months to master machine learning it will take you another 5 uh, 3 to 5 months more so lump sum it will take you 7 to 10 months to become a successful data scientist who will who will have not only mastered uh, theory but would have a great portfolio of projects and that's what has to be your goal so follow this study schedule 
if you face any difficulty if you have any other uh, uh, time commitments right try to work around that and uh, maintain that consistency that's my recommendation to you so thank you very much for watching this uh, episode i hope you loved this and if you did let me know in the comment section what do you think is this plan does this plan look like for you thank you very much Oh, 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 oh,